You people leave me alone. I'm trying to offer a public service and this is all I get in the comments. A video about trillions of dollars of tax evasion. Every single comment. Why is this a Warhammer video? Top one. Two mean vids, one political vid. No Warhammer painting vid. I'm under your scheme, Jordan. Well, why do you have to tell everyone else about it? Just keep it to yourself, Dave and Busters. Oh, look, now there's a jackhammer going as well. See, this is what I'm trying to warn everybody about. Spatial extinction. The sound of rainbow lorikeets is getting replaced with... Yeah, the working state. You dead whale. Come on. I'm trying to teach you about tax evasion and environmental destruction. And all you seem to care about is, when are you going to paint the town battlefield? <laughs> well, the answer is probably today, because look at this email. This email should just be read out on Channel 7 News the day after Christmas as a feel-good story. As soon as you read this, you think, <sighs> It's nice to know there's still some good people in the world. Hi Jordan, my name is Kaz, and I'm the owner of Good Games Bondi Junction. My partner Milo and I are huge fans of yours, in capitals as well. See? Owners of a place called Good Games and their fans. What are you doing with your life? Sitting there, clicking like so I start spending more of my savings on damn robots! Don't even move! Thank you for clicking like, by the way. Like good pushes from Dangstown, we force our boom appearance of locals to watch your videos. Yes. Sorry it didn't work for this election, we'll keep trying. That's all I can ask for you, Kaz. And we'd love to help you out with your Warhammer issues. Let us know, we'd love to sort out a deal. Also, if you've got any regrets about your painting job, we have a local commission painter who can give you some pro tips slash help you out. We can also replace your Riptide battle suit. If this isn't one of those stories that should be reported in the news to make everyone feel good before they go into a current affair, I don't know what is. But also, shout out to them, even though they specifically asked me to not shout them out. That's how you know they're a good person. That's the pinnacle of charity, is it not? Just, oh, I just want to do something nice, but I don't want my name attached to it. They're not even doing it for promotion. They're just, as the name suggests, good. I think what we're going to do with that original Riptide battle suit is sell it on eBay and give all the money to the Australian Conservation Foundation, which is what you should be doing as well. Sign up to a green group because the extinction crisis is real and the Liberals are doing everything they can to make sure that all those species go extinct. It's, ah, spotted quail. Well, we've got a northern quail, so what's the point of that one? <laughs> Take that, koalas. That's for being slower than me. And this is for not knowing how to operate a chainsaw. <laughs> Fuck your house. You know, the more I think about it, the more I realise this Riptide battle suit being melted really suits Sally McManus's character. This is as union as you can possibly get. Just, they've thrown everything at me, Stewie. That's right, I can still take you with one arm. And a different head. I had a head transplant. So... What we're going to be doing is selling this on eBay and giving all the money to the ACF because Sally would have wanted it that way. It's really scary that its name is Sally, it looks like that robot in Oblivion Sally, and that's what I did to it. I dunked it in terms going, fuck you, Sally. So, to make this all official, to prove that this is the real deal, that you are getting the original monument to human failure, I will be putting up my trademark fedora, which actually comes from my dad. He wore this in the 80s, as we used to be part of a band. <laughs> His stage name was Terry the Hat. Speed dealer sunglasses on from another time when my dad was here. Just wearing this gear, and I already feel like a professional, even though I'm a total noob when it comes to 40k. The key to painting is to make sure that you shake it well before opening. <laughs> yes, I'm that little runt in King Arthur, king of the nerds. The Nerd Emperor, all hail his mighty fedora. And get ready to have the same disappointed face as all my fans do after shows where they ask me to sign their shirts and they realise that my signature is worse than three-year-olds. All right, third time's the charm. Got the J out of the way. Voila! And there you have it. The best paint job I have done thus far. So if you want to own this one of a kind, how much more impressive is this than the Logies? There's hundreds of Logies. There's only one of these. There's only one Tower Warrior with a missing arm that is impossible to glue back. Only way that you can do that is just uh, bidding on eBay.com now. Now, let's go on our second adventure, man. Come on, we're going outside. We're going to get that weird tan where you take off your shirt and uh, it's just all red here. All white down there. Because honestly, this is what I'm thinking. Rice gum sucks. I know it's an unpopular opinion. And it is an unpopular opinion to buy by because 
For years, I was a huge fan of rice gum. I like the fact that every YouTuber that everyone else hates are going, oh my God, Jake Paul and Tano. Dude, Jake Paul's awesome. He's Frankenstein, except the professor forgot to put the brain in there. My girlfriend says about the book Frankenstein. So tragic because he's a misunderstood monster. All these YouTubers that are always going, oh, rice gum exposed. Making fun of nine-year-olds? Yeah, he's making fun of nine-year-olds. That's funny. Jeez, that was such a bumpy ride. It was like the first parking lot that we went down. That was just going to the depths of Hades. This one is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Dare you look for a park? See? We're the boulder, and that's Indiana Jones chasing that VW. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you could get away, did you? <laughs> I like how this vlog series is also conveniently turning into a review of car parks. Matt, come here, come here. Look at this. Tell me if you agree. That is the least proud thing that man has ever done in his life. He hates himself for taking that photo. What do you reckon he made for it? A hundred bucks? Is it worth it, mate? What a sick bass player. Did you get the anime flick of the hair as well? Did that classic Goku just super Saiyan mode? Watch this. So we're at Good Games by Day Junction. You never know because it's like Diagon Alley. There's just this tiny little strip that you have to go Dah! ram through a trolley, and if you're magic, only then you're allowed in. And we got in. Look at this place. It's incredible. The music says it all. It's better than waiting in line for the Harry Potter ride at wherever that is that I've been to that now escapes my mind. That's right, America. Huge fan of board games. I'll, I'll be honest, the only reason that I collect Warhammer is because I'm essentially being forced to, like the video. Everyone's like, you like it, you like it. It's a very complicated relationship that I have with this hobby, let me tell you that. We're gonna have to get something while we're here. They're just too nice. They offered us a whole Riptide battle suit. They didn't want any press for it. It was just charity. I want to contribute something to this place. I mean, fairy lights, come on. The mark of any small business that knows what it's doing. Games places, kebab shops. Is there any other small businesses? Age of Sigma. Do you mean Age of Smegma? Smegma is the dick cheese around your dick. That's right, that's what I'm saying. It sucks. And I'm only saying that because I saw that one vlogger was going, Age of Sigma sucks ball. So I went, yeah, he's probably right and I didn't watch the video, but right on, man. Oh no, Telstra workers. Out in force, eh? Holy shit, look at these crackheads. Where's my bag? Is that the album art covered in an Iron Maiden album? Iron Maiden number 50, ah, uh, fuck it, that's what we look like anyway, yeah. Dude, just get some towel. But we've already got towel, so what are we getting it again for? They want you to build an army. Who wants me to build an army? Everyone in the comments. So people that we've never met before are demanding that I spend my money the way they want to spend it. What is this, a choose your own adventure book, is it? You have selected Tao. Yeah, that's the one. Doesn't this look like the really hefty tradies that are behind Sally McManus with the banners going, Fight me, you're right to strike. So look, I know I said I was only going to get one model, but it's just the nicest email I've ever received. Every other email you ever get that asks you to spruik things as a YouTuber is always, Hey, can we just have a picture of you stuffing your mouth with popcorn chicken? You have to eat 10,000 popcorn chickens minimum. I want to see your stomach explode. Popcorn chicken go all the way out. So it's just like, surprise, it's a party everywhere. Turn your body into one of those popcorn machines at the movies. <laughs> That's what we want from you, mate. Hey, hey, two grand. I'm not that desperate for diabetes, but I am extremely desperate for stealth battle suits. Eventually. He offered me a free paint job session with Dr. Rowe. And then we asked if he's a doctor or not. He's not. But still, what a nice man. So shout out to Good Games, if you can ever find it. It's a mystery. Ooh, I'm not going to show you exactly where it is. Mick, 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 Mick. Matt, can you make me disappear, or is that going to be too much in any? No, I can. Now, after I watched the rice gum video, which is what five minutes ago in this vlog that I was talking about it, but remember that. You know what I realised? I think Jordan Peterson's better than rice gum. Yo, look at my girlfriend's tits, yo. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, don't look at it too much. Don't look at it too much. She's my girlfriend, dog. She's my girlfriend. Well, anyone got a sense of deja vu? Maybe just to differentiate this and to show that I've gone further down the hole. I'm like Freddy Krueger, except instead of winding up in your nightmares, I'm in your dreams. 
if you're a lady. Look, Riptide Battle Food, take two. Yeah, that's right, we've got a, you gotta fly, fly your right. Just try it. good on you, Shelly. Yeah. I'm not doing another moment's work until we figure out if this drill's safe or not. <laughs> I forgot I got this. <laughs> Twix. Cool. And shout out when I was doing a show in Sydney and someone got me Dunkaroos. I don't know what I'm more happy about, the riptide or this. <laughs> and in my current costume, the lines are blurred even further. What would the fedora, speed dealer, sunglasses wearing man child like more? Vote in the comments. <laughs> but there's only one way to sign out in this vlog. Well, this would be a lot cooler than it turned out to be. Can't believe that Dunkaroos aren't cool. Jeez. Come on, let's go. What a fucked episode of Sydney Weekend. Remember that cockatoo that was dangling out there? Yeah. It took three hours to get somebody to take it down. It just, because it's just all been so privatised by the New South Wales Liberals. Honestly, this just wouldn't have happened under a Labor government. That cockatoo would have been free in 45 minutes. What, was that you and Connor? It was me and Connor. And then I saw another one caught up there by Christo as well. All right. So they keep getting stuck there. Looks like they've finally done something about it. Are we seeing that crocodile movie tonight? Hell yeah. As long as the crocodile unreasonably big. So, um, what did you think about the tattoo thing? What tattoo thing? Remember, I, I asked if you'd think about getting a Warhammer tattoo. No. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Of course I'm not going to get a Warhammer tattoo for what? Some more clicks. Some things are a little more important than clicks, Matt. Like my soft, silky body. And <laughs> supple. Don't forget supple. Wait, so you just wouldn't get a tattoo? Absolutely not. Maybe I might get a stunner deal of the exact what? price of one of these that day. Yeah. Oh my god. That's the only tat I'd ever even consider. But even then, just mentally, I'm not actually going to do it. I have a real distaste for the idea of a tattoo. Because there's definitely going to be a point in your life where you think, mm, yeah... Maybe Limp Biscuit isn't the coolest band in the world anymore. So, and maybe. There's a lot of debate around that, obviously. But, you know, music's subjective. But clearly they're objectively in the top ten bands of all time. So my point is, I'm not getting a tattoo. All right. All right? What if we, like, said, if we get a million subs, we'll both get Warhammer tattoos? Would you get one? Like... I don't want to get one. Like, I, I really, really don't want to what? get one. What? What? <laughs> Fucking asshole. I think it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and there was an old man who was extremely scared of me peeping. <laughs> I mean, I don't wish this happened, but it would be pretty funny if he had a heart attack. <laughs> but yeah, like, I'd do it for the team. You are a team player. I'd do it for the team. That's very nice to know. I, however, am not a team player. I'm not getting attacked. Dude, but, like, what about... So you wouldn't even do it for a million subs? No. Come on. Like, I, I, Look, the idea of having a tattoo... I can't no, even pronounce can just, it properly. Tattoo. You can just get a small one in, like, an, you know, an obscure area. Like, no one's going to see it. Would like, I see it? Just, like, a little Tao tattoo. Little greater good tattoo. Something like that. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. In Tao language as well. No, you could just get it, in. like, on... Uh, I don't know, you, your shoulder blade or like your, your thigh or somewhere that's just going to be hidden by clothing. And it's really painful. I'm pretty sure I get it surgically removed afterwards anyway. No, you can't get it removed. Yes, you can. Dude, it's but, technologically possible to do that. The but then you'd be leaving me way. with one. So what? <laughs> I'd have to have it. fuck you. <laughs> that's what you get. Right. What if we say we'll get one mm. if we reach a million subs by the end of this year? Would it's you a consider? lofty goal. Because the thing is, like, it's really unlikely that that's going to happen anyway. Mm. So we could okay. just say it, 
Yes, I do like this. If, if, do. It, if it happens. If we get a million by the end of the year, we have to get the tattoos. <laughs> this really scares me because don't you think that this is the kind of thing that those little fucks on 4chan and Reddit just go, Oi, this guy has to get something he hates. If you get to a million subs, just sub to him and then unsub later. Even my own audience would be in on it, for sure. I don't want... See, I don't even want to give them the option because, honestly, there is few things on this earth that repulses me more than that. I would honestly rather find some roadkill rat and eat it raw. Even if it's days old. I'll do that for subs. Look, we're at, like, what, 260,000 now? 267, (laughs) man. All right, 267. (laughs) So what, the chance of us getting 700, essentially 700,000, yeah, yeah. something like that, the chance of us getting 730,000 subs in like, what, five months is so low. So I think we could just say it, right? And just, I guess, hope that we don't get to a million. Would you yeah, agree you to pro- it then? probably wouldn't get to a million, would you? Can you give me some time to think about this? It's actually making me feel physically ill. Well, I mean, but we got and to especially, finish... dude, a Warhammer tag. We got to finish think the about vlog. that. We got to finish the vlog when we get back. So, um, I think you should decide like now, like this afternoon. Right. Just get off my ass. I'm trying to look at the nice ocean views that I pay top dollar for, and you're making that moment stressful for me. Please share and comment below. Command.